So today we have Shreya and Khushi as our guest speaker. They both have cracked city in their internship. And so let's take a look at their journey. So how did you got to know about this opportunity? So the TNP cell of our college came up with a company. It came in around August of 2022. Okay. Yeah. okay. So how many rounds were there for the selection procedure? So firstly there was a coding round and wherein we were asked two coding questions. Along with that there were questions on aptitude and English. So the requirement was that you had to pass at least one coding question with all the test cases. Okay. And oh, sorry, after that there was the technical interview uh, and one HR interview. So about the technical interview, it actually depends on the interviewer, but what is mostly asked is whatever you mention in your resume and maybe one or two coding questions, which you have to do it on a notepad or as per the interviewer. Then comes the HR round. The HR round is based on your extracurricular activities or uh, whatever clubs you are part of that all those things which you mentioned. Can you please elaborate on type of technical questions they have asked? So to me, first of all, they ask, uh, where, what should they ask me on? Like they asked me if I wanted to go forward with Java or DSA. So I said Java. And then he asked me what versions of Java have I used? What other versions am I aware of? And what is the difference between those versions? Then uh, he asked me about collections framework. So in that specifically, he told me to differentiate between array list and linked list and going deeper into it, like insertion dif difference, deletion difference. And then he asked me if I've implemented any other collections framework, at which point I told them priority queue. So he asked me a real life example of priority queue. And finally asked if I had any questions for him. That's it. Uh, for the technical interview, uh, I had, he asked me what is my favorite subject. So I answered operating systems. And then he asked me questions based on that, like what are the different types of operating systems and all about it. So it was easy overall. Was there any GPA criteria? Yes, 6.5. Resume and project tips. Okay, so uh, I would say that whatever mention, whatever projects you mention on your resume, you have to have a thorough knowledge of it. Don't lie on your resume, basically. And whatever projects you have done, whether it be school, or, uh, college projects or any other courses that you have done, you have to have a knowledge of what you did in that project, what was your contribution, and what you learned from it, basically. And other than that, you should mention your extracurriculars, which are very important. And they basically have your resume open in the interview. So it's important that you mention all the things that you are very confident about. Yeah, that's all about it, I guess. And stick to one page resume. That would yes. be nice. Any advice for the aspirants? Okay, I would say that it's very important to be patient in this process. This is a very long process which starts from July or August and goes, uh, goes around for the year. So just trust in yourself, keep practicing, do DSA, uh, pra practice whatever coding language you're most familiar with and just be patient, trust yourself and the process will definitely be worthwhile. Uh, I think what we tend to overlook is the soft skills part. So I think communication skills is very important, whether you are doing an online interview or offline interview. So that is very important. And other than that, Kushi mentioned everything. Perks of being an intern at City. <laughs> okay, so like my experience was uh, very wholesome overall. In the first uh, first two weeks, they basically had trainings for us. They also organized a hackathon for all the interns where we were paired up in groups of four and we had to pr uh, do a project on data visualization. Apart from that, uh, my team was very supportive and I, I got an opportunity to learn from them a lot and also from other people who were not, in, not a part of my team. So they're very supportive, they're very approachable and it's very easy to just text them on teams and um, they, they take, take you out for events and all that stuff is just very cool. Yeah, so you only have two months time. So make sure that you ask as many questions as you can interact with more and more people. That's how you networking is very important. And other than that, it depends how what what team you get so uh, have good 
interaction with your manager and i also enjoyed flash mobs at city mm-hmm. there were many nice things so overall it was a nice experience thank you so much it was fun talking to you thank, thank you, you.